Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about cryopreservation. It's just basic small video about cryopreservation. Cryopreservation. Okay. So what do we mean by cryopreservation? As the term suggests, cryopreservation means preserving biological specimens or samples like tissues or different organs or different cell lines in cold temperature because when cryo is associated we always talk about cold climate and cold temperature so preservation so preservation of tissue which is living obviously in cold temperature now the question comes how much cold right and the answer is here it is almost let's say minus 195 degrees celsius or let's say 77 kelvin or something so minus 197 which is below below sub zero temperature minus 195 degrees celsius now why this particularly minus 195 degrees celsius because this is the boiling point of of liquid nitrogen boiling point of liquid nitrogen okay so usually in cryopreservation of tissue grafts and cryopreservation of biological tissue specimens we usually use this liquid nitrogen for that okay now liquid nitrogen is very cold because you can see minus 195 degrees celsius is very very cold uh, in temperature now why we require that much very small amount of uh, temperature to store them we can store it freezing temperature like 0 point, minus 4 minus 5 minus 10 but it is minus 195 degrees celsius and the answer for that the key for the cryopreservation is that we need to store the biological tissues which are living tissues so that they still live right because if we store them in higher temperature the activity of their all the cellular activities like activity of enzymes like polymerase enzyme for the replication transcription different enzymes for metabolism they will start to work because for all the biological enzymes to work it requires a particular temperature more than 0 degrees celsius usually it acts better at physiological temperature like 35 to 37 degrees celsius many of them works well in the home temperature like 25 to 30 degrees celsius but very few of them can also act on that 5 10 12 degrees celsius temperature so if we store them in low temperature like 5 10 or uh, close to zero it will still act on it and the cell will finally go and die right because for the cell death it requires some enzymes some deadly pathways called apoptosis or programmed cell death right so if we put if those enzymes responsible for programmed cell death are activated at a particular temperature and if we store this cell in that temperature if those enzymes are active then the cell will die and the purpose for preserving tissue will be failed so for that reason we have seen that it at minus 195 degrees celsius temperature none of those enzymes are active to kill the cell or to guide the cell through apoptosis so all of the processes i repeat all of the cellular processes that are usually going on inside the cell are kind of halted are kind of inhibited at that low temperature that you have talked that's why we used to store our uh, samples in that much cold temperature okay that's the reason and second thing another uh, question csi or net people can ask you is that what is vitrification now let me uh, explain this term vitrification now one important thing about this cryopreservation in any kind of cold preservation is once you put it into that high uh, very low temperature it, it, there is a chance of water crystal formation in your tissue. Now, if water crystal form, we know that at crystal form, at, at the solid form, at the icy form, water expands more, so it can burst your cell. But usually for that reason, we need to rapid, rapid freeze them in this temperature. That's a very important point. Now, let's say 
you've made the sample, you've taken the sample, prepared the graph and you put it rapidly into the freezing machinery, everything is okay, everything is fine, it is stored, it is preserved. Now you need to take that particular sample out from that cold temperature and you need to pl place it in the normal temperature, right? So what you need to do, we need to increase the temperature. Now remind you, in any condition, if you increase the temperature rapidly, just like freezing it rapidly, it will kill the cell. Why? Because increasing temperature rapidly will cause certain changes very fast into your cell. And the cell membrane will not be able to hold on to all those changes at very fast. So the cell membrane will rupture and the cell will die. To prevent that, what we need to do, we need to increase the temperature little by little with time. Right? And using certain amount of different agents, different uh, watering agents, different uh, water supplying agents and different enzymatic agents. Now those agents are called vitrifying agents and the process of slowly taking out of the tissue graph from the liquid nitrogen to the normal temperature is called the vitrification process. Now in this process what we do, we do step by step increment of uh, temperature. So we take let's say uh, it's previously 195 degrees Celsius temperature, we add some vitrification agent or vitrifying solution 1 for example and the temperature comes like let's say minus 50 then slightly let's say minus 25 then it's kind of 0 then from it slightly we are increasing towards 35 degrees Celsius. And this is the process, not directly, we are not going this, this path, because this pathway is very, very dangerous. This pathway is dangerous, so it is not taken. Either we take the small stages, because it helps uh, to maintain the st cell stable. Okay, so that is the vitrification process. Okay, so that's kind of it. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.